welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Malka and today I'm so excited to share with you the easiest New York bagel recipe that you can do at home. Not only are you going to learn how to make homemade bagels, but I will share with you as well how to make your own everything but the bagel seasoning. And if you like this kind of content all about simplifying it leading a more meaningful Jewish life, please consider subscribing. So let's jump into it. Mix 25 grams of sugar with 10 grams of yeast in 300 grams of warm water. Put it aside for about 10 minutes to proof the yeast. In a larger bowl, put 500 grams of bread flour and add 5 grams of salt. Mix it together and once that the yeast is proofed, simply pour your yeast into your dry ingredients. Mix it together until it forms a semi-formed dough. Put it on your working bench and then start kneading your homemade New York style bagel dough. You're going to push the dough, then fold it, turn it 90 degrees and then do it again. You will continue this process for about 5 to 10 minutes until your dough is soft and pliable. Once that you have reached that perfect consistency, form a ball with your dough and place it in a greased bowl. Put your dough inside and then again spray it with oil to make sure that it does not dry up. Cover it with some saran wrap and a wet tea towel. Let it double in size, which is going to take about one hour. Punch your dough down and fold it gently. Put your bagel dough on your workbench and press it down to form a circle. Take your cutter or your dough scraper and cut your dough in roughly eight equal parts. Each piece should be about 100 grams. Separate the eight pieces and find a place on your workbench with no flour to roll each piece of your bagel dough in a firm ball. Press down on your piece of bagel dough and fold it gently towards you. Then roll it, applying pressure on it to create a firm ball. Continue the process until you have rolled all eight balls. If you find that your dough is too dry, wet your fingers lightly with a mixture of oil and water and continue rolling your ball. Cover your balls with saran wrap and the same wet tea towel and let it rest for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, uncover them and with your index and thumb dipped in flour, aim for the middle of the bagel ball and push your index and your thumb together through the dough to punch a hole in the bagel ball. Once that it's done, insert your two index fingers in the hole and start rolling your fingers to enlarge the hole. Make the hole as small or big as you want. Simply repeat the process for every ball. Put your everything bagel dough in a pot of boiling water and let them cook on each side for about one minute. You can leave them anywhere between one to two minutes per side, but my preference is one minute for the perfect chewiness. When you remove the boiling bagels from the water, make sure that you let the extra water drain as much as possible. Let your bagel cool down on your cookie sheet and while they are cooling down, you're going to prepare your everything but the bagel seasoning. Mix four teaspoons of sea salt flake or fleur de sel, two tablespoons of minced onions, two tablespoons of black sesame seeds, two teaspoons of poppy seeds, two tablespoons of dried minced garlic, and two and a half tablespoons of white sesame seeds. Mix everything together. Then put it in an airtight container and it will last you for weeks. You can put this mixture on your bagels, your challah, your salads. It's simply delicious. Now that your homemade New York style bagels are cooled down, you can put your egg wash, which is one complete egg and one tablespoon of water. Brush your egg wash everywhere to have that perfect New York bagels look. Now it's time to put your topping. Our family's favorite topping is our DIY homemade everything but the bagel seasoning, but we also love plain sesame seeds and sumac, which is a great alternative and so flavorful. 
Put your everything bagels in the preheated oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit or about 220 Celsius for about 20 minutes or until golden brown. After 20 minutes, the kitchen smells divine and you will have eight perfect everything bagels ready to be eaten, ready for the picture on Instagram. Your homemade New York bagels are not only going to be delicious, but super moist. You can fill them with what you prefer, whether it's lox, cream cheese, or maybe with eggs in the morning. However you will prepare them, they are going to be perfect. And an extra bonus is that they freeze beautifully. I hope that this video was useful for you. Please let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite way to enjoy your New York style bagels? And if you like this kind of content, all about simplifying yet leading a more meaningful Jewish life, please consider subscribing. We do upload new content every week. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget to from it up.